Awesome. So this, this right here, so then you, is, is this all part of one funnel? It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So then you got your, you got your opt-in only, you got your landing page. And then once they opt in there, they're taken to, where are they taken to after that? Are they taken to the thank you, which is part one at the bottom left or? So opt-in only and then squeeze success. So here, then here. Okay. Opt in only and then the squeeze success because that's just a squeeze page. But then I've got the part one is the actual offer. That's to buy something. Okay. So the opt in is only opt in. Mm -hmm. And then the part one is the actual offer. And then I've got the terms and conditions and privacy policy and 404. And then I've got the launch checkout and a thank you. Uh, and that's the thank you for purchasing? Thank you for purchasing. Awesome. Yeah. So then when do they see the four day challenge launch part one? When do they see that page? Is that, um, so email? it's linked to both the, it's linked to both the home page and then that's the page that's going to be on a Facebook ad. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So then, okay. So then a Facebook, when, when you're running the Facebook ad, yeah. it should be going and, and I see your ad in the newsfeed and I click on your ad I should be going to the squeeze opt-in only. But I don't want them to just do that. If they want to do that after they look at the offer, then I would like them to go there. But I don't want that to be the beginning part. Gotcha. You think okay. that I should have, because I don't want them to just sign in and like, that's it. I would really like them to actually click on the offer itself so they see exactly what it is, not okay. just give them their email address and goodbye. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So then... What you want to do for sure, mm -hmm. for sure, is yeah. now now it's a Facebook thing. Now it's a Facebook ad thing to really make sure that you're successful with this. If we're sending them to a page, which is what I'm assuming, four day challenge launch part one, and there's no opt in on that page, or is there? There is. There is going to be an opt in pop up. Okay, so that that orange button right there is is an opt in. No, that's to get to, that's to actually buy the challenge. And then the, the, the um, opt-in is going to pop up. It's going to pop up in the page. Okay. So then what you want to do for sure is, is make sure that your Facebook pixel is, is obviously on that page, but most importantly, most importantly, you, you, you for sure have to set up a custom audience because as okay. we run ads and drive people to that page, there's obviously going to be fall off. There's obviously going to be X amount that don't take on the offer. So we need to know who those people are. Now you're not going to know them by name and number, but you're going to be able to have the data. Facebook will track the data. So now anyone who lands on that page is now in what Facebook calls a quote unquote custom audience. And those will be folks that you can run ads to again in the future. Because if you're not asking for their name and email right here, right now, then how do we get back to the people who, who fall off? Now, people that go to the opt-in only, there'll be fall off. There'll be a fall off right there as well. People are going to land on that page. Not all of them are going to opt in and there's going to be a few that take off. Then, okay, let's create a custom audience for those people too. So when we're running an ad and, and we're taking them to a page where there's not an opt-in right away, that's the whole reason why people do have an opt-in. Like nine out of 10, actually, well, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 people who run ads who run any type of funnel will put the opt-in first because the information that you're promoting, the, 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 the product, the, the, the service, whatever you're advertising, that's the advertising. So, so really to tell you the truth, why do I need to explain in further detail four day challenge launch part one? Why do I necessarily have to explain in further detail on that specific page? when I should have explained it on the actual ad. So if I'm explaining it, explain, explaining it on the ad and I'm getting them to click on it to come to a page where I explain it even more, that's kind of, that's kind of a double whammy where it's not even necessary. I need, to, I need to be able to explain that in my ad. So by the time they click on it, I'm bringing them straight to opt-in only. So I was thinking I was going to do two things. So one was going to be about a 10 to 15, 15 ish second video 
of <clears throat> a 10 to second uh, a 10 or a 15 second video saying blah 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 uh -huh. and then i was going out to also do a short catch ad um of reaching out to who my audience is mm -hmm. you know moms of whoever right yeah. uh -huh. and do that short and then click here so then it's just a short little little thing and then they click on it and they get the full what is this gotcha so it captures them what what i would do what i would do is i would i i yeah for sure you explain that in the ad like give them give them a teaser you're targeting the right, right. person right you're targeting the audience give give them obviously as, as much detail or or a teaser in the actual ad and then once in they it. click on it you want to take them straight to the squeeze opt-in only like we need to capture that lead like you need to capture that lead right 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 up right up front that's my professional okay. opinion and anyone okay. would recommend that um okay. you want to take them straight to the squeeze opt-in only okay. okay okay um for sure for sure and then once they opt in then they can see the offer Okay, so would you have like a pop up on the launch page, the part one page? Have a pop up that has the email to fill in right away at the top? No, the email to fill in is is before the squeeze. that page. Yeah, it's before that. It's squeeze opt in okay. only. Okay. Because again, you're gonna have fall off rate no matter what. If I if if I go to four day challenge launch part one, there's gonna be let's and let's just let's just let's just call it what it is. Nine out of ten people will fall off. And that's fine. And that's, that's kind of standard with everything and everyone right, right. Where, where, where people like, for example, your friend with the two comma club, his numbers, if you really look at his numbers and he really looks at his analytics, which he already knows, I mean, he's a two comma guy, two comma guy. So he for sure is successful. When you look at his numbers, he became successful off of 1%. That's kind of standard all across the board. One, maybe 2%, maybe 3% if you're really, really good. So that means seven out of 10 people left, but you became a two comma award winner off of one of 3%. Okay. That's what a lot of people need to understand. We, we think that when we put out information, everybody and their mother needs to love it. No, they don't. Like we're <laughs> going to be successful off of one out of 10 loving it. If right, I, and that's, why, that's how you find your niche, right? That's how you find your niche. Right. And, 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 and yeah, that's how you become successful is, is banking on the 1%. And, and so, and so I'm going to have fall off rate regardless if I send them to the four day challenge launch part one, or if I send them straight to the, the squeeze opt in only. So I need to make sure that my numbers, I need to make sure that I have the best chance to win. And that's to ask for their email up front because I, I, I should okay. have already what their appetite. I should have already gave them enough information or at least a little bit, or at least teased them in a good way with the actual ad, the ad. And especially if you're putting out video explain everything in the video that's the ad explain everything explain what you got going on what you're fired up about what the offer is why so many people are taking advantage explain that in the ad so by the time i actually click on it dang she actually is talking some good stuff that's something i'm interested in for my family i'm going to click on it boom i'm going straight to squeeze opt-in only and i'm opting in because again you're going to have fall off rate regardless let me get your email right away so i can i so i so 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 I can really, you know, give my, myself the best chance and, and, and all of us really, I need to, I need to ask for your information up front. So I would send them straight to squeeze, squeeze opt-in only. That's, that's the page that they're, that, that's the page that they're going to right away after they click on the ad. Okay. I have a question for you then. If I ran a Facebook ad with a small, cause I'm going to do two type one. That's just copy one. That's a video. So I was thinking, would I do just like a 10 to 15 second video up in the front end that actually appears on the front of the Facebook ad and then inside the part one page have two different ones, one that's just copy and then put an, a longer video inside the page? Yes. What you're doing on the, on the front, on the, what we call the top of the funnel. The top of the funnel is the ad. That's what I'm okay. using to get people through my front door, right? So, but would so, I would I would I do the short a short like ten second video and then do a long video inside or the long video right up front? Yes, the long video up front. Explain everything. Explain what you got going on. Explain how you're okay. helping people. Yeah, that's the okay. ad. That's why I wouldn't do a fifteen second Facebook ad video. Heck no, I do a ten minute. 
Facebook ads video. <laughs> okay. Seriously, like I would explain it all right okay. then and there. And, and by the time they click, they go straight to the squeeze opt-in only. They enter their name and email. Then, then they see another video. And that video can be shorter, obviously, but that video is now only for those who are now in your door. Okay. 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 So, and, and, and so the, the, whole, the whole strategy and the secret to, to Facebook ads also, actually really to tell you the truth, the, the main secret sauce of Facebook advertising is the fact that a lot of people that, 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 that enter the Facebook ad world, they think that one ad is going to do it for them. And they think that one video is going to do it for yeah. them. I mean, I speak to many, many people and, and, and I have many, many clients that think this way where they're like, David, I have this one video. I know we're going to capture a ton of leads off of it. It's like, dude, no, we're not like, that's not how it works. Like, and I have some clients that are so perfect. They're perfectionists where, where it takes them three weeks just to put out one video. And it's like, man, that's not how it works. Like what you want to do is you want to, you want to have a ton of videos ready to go. Um, because out of all these videos and, and you want to have a, a longer than a 15 second video for sure, because the whole secret sauce behind Facebook advertising is creating audiences of people who are watching your previous stuff. So for example, a 15 second video is for sure too short. It's way too short. You want to do at least a, a, a 60 second minimum, 60 second minimum, minimum, because as, as you roll out that video ad, Facebook ad, as you roll it out, Again, there's going to be, there, depending, on, depending on one's budget, but even at a small budget, you'll still get thousands of people to view it. So let's say, for example, you have, you have a 60-second video. You run it as an ad. Thousands of people view it, but only a few hundred actually viewed more than 50% of it. Facebook allows us to capture that data. So I have a 60-second video. I run it for a seven-day period thousands of people view it but then in my back office facebook allows me to set up an audience of those who watched 50 percent of it so those 50 percenters who watched 50 percent of my 60 second video that's who i retarget and show them ad number two and then and then ad number two let's say that's another 60 second video i run that ad and then at the end of the ad seven days let's say for example I then have another audience of the 50 percenters. And so now ad number three, I'm going to only show it to those who watched 50% of ad number one, ad number two. So now you keep getting in front of those folks who are actually watching your stuff. It's only the first ad that goes out to a cold market. And although mm -hmm. you know you're targeting, although you know the demographics, although you know the location, although you know all that, that's the first ad that that's a cold market it's still a cold market you might know your exact client but those people haven't heard from you before they never seen you they don't like you on facebook they don't they're not personal friends on facebook you're a, it's a cold audience so so that's the power of creating custom audiences because custom audiences that's when and that's also when your facebook ad costs drops because now after video number one after ad number one whether it's an image or a video but again, video is so powerful because you can capture the audience of those who, who are watching percentages of it. 60 second, I can retarget those who watched 15 seconds of it. I can retarget those who watched 50 seconds of it. I can, I can retarget you know, X amount of people based on what they watch. Image, you can do the same thing, but it's not based on watch time, obviously. It's an image. So with, with images, you can retarget those who click like, those who comment, those who share it that's what we call engagement you can retarget those who engage so you can do it with image or video but video is more powerful because if if a person sits there and watches let's just say 30 seconds of your 60 second video for me to sit here and watch 30 seconds of something there's some interest there especially if you're targeting me <laughs> especially if you're be. targeting me right because our attention is so short where it's like we're headline consumers i look at the headline if it doesn't interest me i keep going so for me to w watch half of your video, there was some interest there. And, and the power is when you can create that audience and keep showing them more and more and more and more. So, so it's about custom audience is what I'm saying. That's, that's the okay. secret sauce. You run one ad and then after that first initial ad, you build custom audiences around everyone who, who's watching it. And you just keep feeding them future ads 
and, 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 and go from there. People have to feel they know you. The only reason why you're on this call with me, the only reason why you reached out and, 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 and somewhat assumed that, that I'm, I'm, I'm a safe guy to speak to is because you're seeing my videos. That's the only reason. You didn't True. read a blog. True. You didn't get an email from me. You didn't just, we're not even friends on social media, right? You feel comfortable with me. You feel that you know me, you feel that you like me, you feel that you can trust me to a certain extent only because you've been seeing multiple videos. Now, if right. you only seen one video from me, one, I probably if wouldn't know. You, you, heck no, you wouldn't know nothing. You wouldn't know anything. You'd be like, okay, landing page, car trick guy, okay, cool. But if you've never seen another one, if you've never seen video two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you've never seen those, you wouldn't know, like, and trust me. Facebook ads, the same exact thing, but the power behind the Facebook ad is the fact that we can target. So the fact that I can actually target mothers in between the ages of, of, of 40 and 60 or whatever the, the demographics is, the fact that I can actually laser target them, that's what makes it powerful. But at the same time, those folks need to keep seeing me as well, just like YouTube. They need to keep seeing me as well. So I better be re ready with ad number two. I better be ready with ad number three, four, and five. But most importantly, I better be retargeting all those who are watching all these videos. Right, because if they're watching them to some extent, that means that there's something there that is Heck yeah. connecting, they're connecting to. Heck yeah. To. You, you caught mm -hmm. their interest the first time around, but maybe it wasn't until the fourth ad where they're like, dang, I'm seeing her again. I'm, 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 now I'm really digging what she's saying. Okay, let me click learn more. Let me see what she's talking about. Let me enter my name and email. Right. And, and especially when it comes to just basic one, advertising 101, a, a consumer has to see us six, seven, eight times before they pull the trigger on anything. And see, those are, these are the things that I don't know how to do it. So that's what I'm learning right now. Yeah, yeah I'm Facebook. how to connect it. Yeah, I, I can for sure coach you through all that. I mean, as far as Kartra, that this is, I, I do this stuff in my sleep. Facebook ads, simple, that, that part's simple as well. There's just a few, and, and I think most people think that Facebook advertising is, is more complicated than it is. It's actually not. There's a few basic fundamentals. And if you're, if you're doing these basic steps, then you'd be crushing it. Um, but again, the one huge, huge thing that stops people, whether it's, whether it's just posting organically or running ads, right? We got social media. We're now in the social media world. Whether you're going to try to build it organically and just randomly post, that's one thing. Or whether you're going to actually put out ads through Facebook, Instagram, or maybe YouTube. Those are your three platforms where you really want to focus on, but you want to focus on one first. And that one is Facebook. Like if you can master Facebook ads, that's where you start first. But my point is whether you're putting out organically or whether you're putting out through advertising, what stops 9.99999% out of people uh, out of 10, what stops them is the fact that they lack the content. So that's what I'm saying. If I ask you right now, how many ads do we have or how many ideas we have? All we have right now is a 15 second video. So, so automatically I already know that we're lacking content and that's what everybody lacks. Everybody <laughs> lacks content. Okay. And, and, and the only reason why, again, you you and I are on this call today is because I keep putting out content. I'm dropping a damn video every, every darn day. So, so if I took that same strategy, which I do, if I took that same strategy to Facebook advertising and looked at it where it's okay, where, looked at it in a way where, okay, it's not about one ad. It's about putting out an ad every day, every day, every day I'm running an ad every day, every, every day, every day, every day. And, 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 and you just never know the hot buttons of an individual. Again, ad number one may have not caught their attention fully, but ad number five, bam, they got it. They're like, dang, let me click learn more. She's kicking game. I need to, I, yep, my daughter needs all that, right? Like, and that right. might have been ad number five. Right. Right? And that's why with you, it wasn't my first YouTube video that you, that you were like, dang, this guy really, maybe it was, but, but chances are it wasn't. It wasn't the very first video that caught your attention. Maybe, but may, most likely not. You might have seen maybe three, four, five, seven videos from me where you're like, dang, this guy kind of, he is on fire. He does know what he's talking about. Let me, let me reach out to him, right? It wasn't the very first few seconds of my number one video that you were like, dang, this guy knows what he's doing. No, it was after several of them right? because I was like, okay, he's rolling. Let's right? go. Right. <laughs> Same with your content. So again, whether it's organically and we're just putting it out or whether it's Facebook advertising and we're running ads, it's the content that stops most people.
because again, a lot of people are perfectionists. A lot of people are, 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 are um, um, they're, they're insecure. So whether it's an image or whether it's a video, they, they need everything to be perfect. It's like, dude, that slows you down so much, like so, yeah. so, so, so much, yeah. you know? And so I just want you to, you know, just, just know that, yeah, you, you have a message. The, the world needs to hear what you got going on. Um, it's not going to happen with one ad. Um, it's going to happen with multiple ads. And it's not that you have to run a different ad every day. No, we just have to run. I, I would say, I would say, think of four different ads for the month. Look at it as a monthly thing and look at it as running a new ad every week, which is literally every day. So if I'm running an, a, one ad every week, it's an ad every day, seven days, this ad runs. And on day number eight to, to, to eight and on the next week, another ad runs. And then third week, another ad runs. And all I'm doing is retargeting those who are watching my previous ads. Or yes, because engaging. each one of my challenges is only going to be about four days, four to five days. So if for each challenge, I need to have multiple ones for each challenge that I do. Well, and if I do a different challenge every two weeks, then I've got to have those specifically for those. Well, see, here's the thing. You, you, can, have, you can have a four-day, let, let's just call it one four-day challenge. You have, you have a, a quote-unquote four-day challenge. Whenever that person enters your world, that's when their four-day challenge begins. It doesn't begin, it, 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 it's not just a, unless, unless you are thinking that way where, David, I have a four-day challenge and it's only for the month of April. If that's the case, okay, well, then most people are going to miss out. And, and, and now we got to think of a, a new four-day challenge. What I would do is I would just have a four-day challenge. This is my four-day challenge. So if you come across me and you enter my world in the month of October, it's the same four-day challenge. And what I would do is I would automate the entire thing. I'd have videos on the four day challenge unless you're doing it live, which you probably are. You're probably doing yeah. some type of live and, you know, filling, but, but after you do that, here's what I would do after you do the live four day challenge. And now people are in your world and now you got this, this date, you know, we're going from, we're going from April 25th to the 29th. Once you master that, let's say you do roll this out and you roll it out that way. Once you master it, then you automate it. Now it's a four day mm, challenge, that's a but, good idea. but now it's a course, right? So no matter when you're coming across my Facebook ad, it does not matter. I have a course. I have 14 videos. They're going to teach you while I'm sleeping my four day <laughs> challenge. And then move on to the next four day challenge after I've mastered it and recorded it and kept you, it. You, you master it, you record it, you now package it all up, you monetize it. And now you can complete, you can go complete, start a whole new four day challenge. And that's right. for a whole nother group of folks. That's a great idea. Actually, I like and, that. And all that is done in Kartra. So those pages, the membership course. So, so yeah, that's what you want to do first. You want to roll it out as a live. But here's, here's what you also want to do. What you want to, before even you start even thinking of landing pages and, 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 um, and, and Facebook ads, what, what you absolutely have to do very, very, very next step, which I don't know if you have it already, but you need a Facebook group. Yeah, I already made one. Okay, here's what you want to do next. Here's what you want to do next. You want to survey that group. You want to drop a link, and what you can do is you can go to Google. You can go to Google Docs. It's actually Google uh, Google um, Surveys. What time is it? Is it already is it already ten o'clock or what time is? It? Let me see. Okay, you want to go to Google Docs. In fact, let me show you real quick. Let me. Um, here's what I would do. Here's what you I, want me I to, uh, stop sharing. Um, can you see my page? Yeah. Do you want me to stop sharing? No, you don't have to, as long as you can see my page. Okay. Okay. So here's what you want to do for sure. And even though you already have your four day challenge in mind, that's fine. You already have everything. You have the idea, you have the vision, you know exactly what you want to teach. That's good. But here's what I would also do just to go a little for a step further. Obviously go to, go to Google and, and make sure you're logged into your, your Google account. Right. And then just click on these dots right here. Yep. And come down to, um, come down to docs, click on docs. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three lines to the left and you're going to click on, um, you're going to click on, actually you're going to click on drive. <clears throat> you're going to click on drive and then you're going to click on, um, I believe it's my 
drive, we click on my drive. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up an actual, actually, where, where is it? I think I'm in the wrong account. Let me, let me open up my other account. It's, it's actually this one. <laughs> and what I want you to do is, is, is create a simple, it's actually a form. So if I click on new, I can come down here and I can go to more and it's Google forms. Okay. So I, I clicked on docs. I came to my drive okay, and then I clicked on new and it's Google. It's Google. Um, you click, click on more. It's Google more. forms. Okay. And what I would do is I would survey that group. You have a Facebook group. You have a ton of people in there. You, you, you know that there's an interest in what you're obviously teaching. Survey them and say, hey, will you go and, and drop that link. So create the Google form and then drop that link in the Facebook group. Share that link on social media. Email that link to anyone that you may have on an email list and, and, and put maybe, maybe, maybe five, six, seven questions on it. Hey, if we had a course or if I was coaching on this topic, would that be something you'd be interested in? Yes or no? What price point do you feel would be reasonable to charge for this type of coaching? And, 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 and they'd have a multiple choice. And what I would do is first is I would, I would get the pulse of the audience. Let, let, let's find the pulse because even though they're in a Facebook group and there is some type of interest there, let's get even more data. Before, before we start putting Facebook ad money at this entire campaign. So if I can get a handful of people to actually fill out my survey and say, yeah, I'd be interested in that. Yes, I'd pay 500 bucks for a coaching course like that. Yes, that's something that I'm lacking. That's something that my kid would need for sure. Yes, I'm interested. If that actually, now, now I could post something on social media and get people to comment, but I want to take it further. I want to ask them some questions. Like for them to be honest about it. So I know what they're craving and exactly. they, need, they feel like they exactly okay. then you can base your message and your coaching and your teaching around what the audience is 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 the feedback that they're giving you okay because a lot of times we have this these ideas and we have this vision and we're like man i know for a fact that these people would love it a lot of the times this happens and we go and create the whole product. We go create the whole funnel. We go create, we, we start running Facebook ads before we even, even, even surveyed the audience. And, and that's how a lot of consumer products are, are, are rolled out when it comes to just physical products, whether it's retail, whether it's health, nutrition, whatever. These big, big brands that know what they're doing, that have millions in marketing costs, marketing budget, they survey people first right? Before they roll yeah. out a product, they survey, even with beverages and soda and all this, you know, potato chips and all this crap, they survey people first, even with medicine, they try it on an X amount of people first and right. then they roll it out. Right. So this survey is very similar. It allows you to get the pulse of the audience and, 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 and get their feedback on what they're willing to buy. So good. That's a really good one. Thank you. And, and you could take that survey again and post it everywhere. Say, hey, guys, I have an amazing idea. I'm really planning on rolling out this four-day challenge. I, I have visions. I, I've been working on this stuff for a long time, but I need your feedback. I'm getting ready to finalize it. I'm getting ready to put the final pieces to the puzzle, and I'm getting to ready to roll this thing out. But I'd love your guys' feedback. Will you please fill out my short survey? It will take you one minute to give me your honest feedback on what I got going on. And just from a consumer's perspective, let me know if this would be something that you'd be interested in. Thanks okay. a lot. Yeah. Right. That's a good, that's really good. Actually. I like so, that. I so, wanted to do a survey, but I do, That's a good way of doing it is on Google docs. Good. Yes. Okay. So I have another call coming up, but I want to talk yep. to you again. So let's, let's chat again, go back to my link and just schedule another call, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's Monday, whether it's next week, whatever. I want right, to help dude. you get this thing out. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. You're so, this so awesome. welcome. Yes. Yeah. You're so welcome. So thank you so much for your time. God bless you. I'm going to keep you in my prayers bless for you. sure, but we're not done. Okay. We're not done, but I have this call right now that I have to take. Um, <laughs> I'm not done and you're not done. <laughs> we're not done. Right. So let's, let's All try right. again. Click on my link and, and schedule right. your best time. Thanks, David. You're Appreciate so, so you. welcome. You're so, All so right. welcome. God bless you. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye.